Okay, the next kind we're going to factor is quadratics, and these are simple quadratics. We'll get into quadratic form more in chapter 6, but right now we're going to factor these simple kinds. Uh, in this kind, the highest power is 2. You have only one variable throughout, so here it's y in both of these two, it's x. And also, um, on the highest power, there is no number in front, so it's not like 3y squared or 6y squared or anything like that. It's, it's just y squared, x squared, and then it continues on there. There can be numbers in front of the other ones. These are all examples of things I can use uh, that I can factor using this method that I'm about to show you. I'm only going to factor the top one, but I want you to see the pattern. x squared plus 20y plus 96. Uh, sorry, y squared plus 20y plus 96. x squared plus 4x plus 3. X squared minus 10x plus 16. The same pattern is, is how you can notice one that can be factored this way. Okay. And it's fairly simple and quick. The question is, when you're factoring this, is this like reverse FOIL, which we haven't really gotten into, and we don't need to, or reverse double distributive. But there's actually a simple method of doing it. First, just write two parentheses. Uh, and second, just write whatever the variable is, y and y, inside in the first place in both of those parentheses. So that's my first step. I am almost done. I only need two more things. The two numbers that I now write in these two spots here with the y come from the two numbers that multiply to 96 and add to 20. Again, they have to multiply to this end number and add to the number in front of the variable that's to the first power here. So, one way of doing that, now, not everyone's going to be like, oh, I know exactly what numbers multiply to 96 and add to 20. So, what I would suggest is write a list of numbers that, add, uh, that multiply to 96. Start with the simplest, 1 and 96. Does that add to 20? No. Okay, moving on. 248. That adds to 50. No. Nope. Uh, moving on again. Does 3 go into it? Yes. 332. No, that doesn't add to 20. Okay, 4, 4, and 24. No, that adds to 28. Got to keep going. 5 doesn't go into it. 6 times uh, 16. Nope, that adds 22. But we're getting closer, it looks like. 7 doesn't go into it. 8, 8 and 12. What? 8 plus 12. 8 plus 12 is 20. So that's all I put in there. That's a positive, that's a positive. So 8 plus 8, I sorry, y plus 8, y plus 12, and there we go. That's it. That's the whole step. Now sometimes these numbers might have to be a negative, both negative, in order for it to work. Because uh, you might need to say this number in the middle. We'll change it real quick. Had been negative 50. Well, 2 and 48 make positive 50. Well, I would have to go negative on both of those because a negative times a negative would still be positive 96. And then I'd put minus 2 there and minus 48 there. But again, uh, all you're doing is finding what multiplies to the last number here and adds to the middle. In this case, it was 20. And those two numbers... We're 8 and 12, so positive 8, positive 12. y plus 8, y plus 12. Now, you could use the double distributive or FOIL to multiply this out to prove that it was correct, uh, but that is how you factor these simple quadratics.